Hi and welcome to another ASD Tech Tips video cast. Today's video cast is going to be talking about the search engine Instagrock. Instagrock is a new search engine. Um, it's really similar to Google's Wonder Wheel, which is no longer around. Um, it's been dubbed the search engine for education. So let's start off by going to Instagrock's, Instagrock's website. It's www.instagrock.com. And um, basically, you're gonna, we're going to start off, we'll just do, I'm going to show you two different things with this t screencast. The first one, I'm just going to show you basic use as a general non-logged um, in user. The second thing, I'm actually going to log in and show you some of the benefits of creating a username and how you can actually do some grokking with your class. So the term grok means to understand thoroughly and intuitively. And it's definitely set up differently than a standard search engine. So if I type in the word Jaguars here, let it grok a little bit. Um, there's some different parts. The first thing you're going to notice right away is the wheel. And again, this is very similar to Google's Wonder Wheel um, that they used to have. Over here on the right side are key facts that are basically set off of the, the wheel. Okay? If I wanted the general website information that you might get from a Google web search, they're here. Okay? Um, one of the neat things about Instagram is all of its hits from the key facts are pulled from what you know they classify as educational websites. So most of them are .edu sites or um, .org sites, things like that. They also have videos. Looking at the videos, almost all the videos are from BBC or from PBS or from Discovery. So um, again, pretty educational sound sites. Same thing with images. Um, the other neat thing is it comes with quiz questions based on, now granted, um, you know, I'm not sure how great the quiz questions are, but they're kind of pre-done, so you could look at them and adapt them to your needs if need be. And last but not least, it has some key concepts that are other things that maybe you could search for if you're looking for Greg or Jaguar, depending on what your search is. But okay, I want to go back to this key facts part. Um, so it opens up this visual kind of uh, wheel about the word Jaguar, and maybe you're looking around, and you're not seeing enough of what you want to see. So you can always double click, and it'll open up other key information about Jaguar is just the outside rim is going to be the, the, the main hits. The inside rim, the closer to the middle are the smaller amounts of hits. So the main points are on your outside wheel. So let's say I want to know more about Jaguars and Prey. I can double click on the word Prey and it's going to open up a wonder wheel on Prey. Now again, how visually cool is this for your students to see how all of these things are connected and it kind of moves the Prey out so you don't have to see it inside of Jaguars. And now it's something kind of neat over here some of you may have noticed. Now my key facts, instead of just being about Jaguars, have both keywords, Jaguars and Prey. All right, that's pretty neat. Also, my websites change. I don't have nearly as many websites because now those websites that didn't have anything about Prey have been eliminated. So again, you're getting greater depth. So that's pretty neat. Now it says journal up here. You can see a few things that it opens up a journal page. It has some of the things that you clicked on and looked at, so that's kind of neat. But you need to log in to be able to edit those things. So that's why I'm going to show you what it looks like when you use a login. So I'm going to log in. And I'm going to use my Google account. Okay, so, and I'm going to again. I'm going to search for. This time, I'm going to search for. Yeah, I'll search for Jaguars again. Okay. And you'll notice that all these things, some other things around this wheel that aren't on your form. And the reason is, is earlier I went through, and I was looking through some of these key facts, and I clicked on these pins. If I want to unpin this, I can take it off. But if I want to pin it it's going to add this key fact into my Wonder Wheel. Okay? So I'm going to unpin some of these. I also pinned a website. I'm going to take that off. Pinned a video of a Jaguar and an Anaconda fighting, which I thought was kind of cool. I'm going to take this image off because what I want to do is... <laughs> this one? Yep. What I want to do is I want to get some deeper um, hits. So I want to look at um, Jaguars and I'm going to go back again and I'm going to click on Prey. Okay? Because I want to get facts about Jaguars and Prey. And I think this is a good fact about how they're strong swimmers for stalking their prey. And I also think that this is a good fact down here that, that, so that you know they like to drag their prey to a secluded spot. My boys, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, put that in there. Okay? I'm going to see if I can find some websites. I'm going to um, pin the National Geographic website as, all, as well as this Big Cats website. And then video-wise, there's no real videos that specifically talk about prey, so all right, skip that. Some images. I'm gonna get some good pictures of jaguars. Now here's the cool thing: if I go back to that journal, everything I just clicked on, it's all there. My facts, my websites, my images. So again, if 
I could sh I could basically model to my students how I could search for information, and then I could pull up this journal. And we could review the facts together. We could go. Um, we could do some an annotating on some websites. We could look for some images, things like that. It's it's just a, it's a it's a, just a neat way to um, to show basically a, a grokking some pretty pretty in depth searching. Okay. Um, last but not least, I'm going to show you this part up here. If I click on the, my class, this is showing that I search for jaguars and. Jaguar and Jaguar is on this date. Okay, and right now it says quiz zero. And there's a class code. I could log my students in. My students can create logins, and I could give them the code Averbeck or whatever code you choose to make. It'll it'll walk you through that step when you log in, and you can see what your students have done on Instagram, and you also can see how they do on those quiz questions. Obviously, it's not a, a great assessment, but what it is is it's a way for you to get a, just a quick idea if your students are understanding some of the content you covered in class. So, to go back to the front, you know, Instagram is it's, it's just a really cool site. It's, it's a way to do some web searching beyond the uh, traditional ways of just doing a Google search or just Googling it. Instagram, I think, shows more uh, connectiveness between words and subject matter as well as talking about keywording items and finding um, corresponding terms together. So it's a pretty neat website. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this ASD Tech Tips screencast and happy grokking. Have a good day.